Hi guys, my name is Tracy Sanderson and I am an Emerald Coach here with Team Hyperlife and today I'm going to be talking to you about personal development. So as you already know, personal development is one of the three vital behaviors that Beachbody encourages in every single one of its coaches. So personal development is one of those things that when you begin to incorporate it in your daily routine, whether you are you know, doing it first thing in the morning as part of your morning routine, um, it's during your lunch break, you are engaging right before you go to bed, whatever works for you, you are maintaining it as a daily habit. When you begin to incorporate that into your life on a daily basis, which I know is very, very hard, at least it is for me anyway, because as a wife and a mom and a woman, I tend to take anything that is just for me, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else, and put it on the back burner. It gets pushed to the bottom of the to-do list. And that's a huge no-no with your personal development because personal development is really the one thing, it's the one thing that's gonna take you and who you are and just take you right over the top. It's gonna help you push past insecurities, it's gonna help you dream bigger, um, set goals, um, learn more about yourself, how to be a better you. And not just a better you, but a better you in your business, a better you in your family, a better you in your community. So I really want to encourage you, and I'm preaching to the choir at the same time, to make sure that personal development is something that you're doing every single day. And if you're not doing it every single day, you're working on setting that habit to be doing it every single day. So I want to share a little bit about my story and about my testimony with you of how personal development really, really affected my life when I was a brand new coach. So about a year ago, I found myself in a situation that left me extremely wounded in my heart, in my soul, um, my emotions, my spirit, even my physical body was just really wrecked. Um, and without the long version of the story, I'll give you the short version of the story. Um, I was a, a children's director at our, a local church and found myself um, being um, accused of things that I did not do. And um, it was done publicly in front of my peers. I was um, dismissed from my position in leadership and dismissed from my position as children's director um, and really, really wounded by people that I trusted and people who were some of my dearest and closest friends. People who knew me inside and out. They knew my character. They knew my love language. They knew my heart. We did life together. Um, and. All of that compounded together left me depleted. It's really the best word and, and really defeated. What happened after that, um, then, then the last year has been um, a mixture of the most severe and extreme pain I've ever encountered and um, finishing out this year with the most strength and the most courage and fortitude that I could have ever envisioned in my life. So after this event took place, I was a wreck. I didn't care anymore. My self-confidence was gone. My dreams were gone. Um, my faith was very, very small. I questioned my calling. I questioned every decision I'd ever made that led to that point, thinking I was the most stupid person on the face of the earth. How could I have ever thought that that was the path that I was supposed to be on? Um, I, um, What little was left of myself after these people that I trusted got finished beating me up one side and down the other, I beat myself up the rest of the way. So... I spent the rest of the spring and the summer um, 
really neglecting myself and just in survival mode. And in the fall, I found myself um, overweight, unhealthy, unhappy. Um, my physical body had, had taken a toll from, from the events of, of the spring and um, it was showing in, in definite ways. And I, I found um, Tracy invited me to a free cleaning eating challenge and that led to a challenge pack and which led to, well, I guess I'll become a coach and get the discount because I'm hoping this will work. Well, little, little did I know that coaching would literally change my life. And when I say change my life, I mean take me from um, the very sad, very wounded person that I was, which is not me. I'm normally an extremely confident, extremely high self-esteem kind of person. Um, very much a leader and an encourager and found myself you know none of those things and I wanted that back but I didn't know how to get there so I thought I would start with my body and begin there and see what else happened well as you know you are in basics and I was in basics and we were encouraged to pick up a book so um, I got my compound effect and I also got a digital copy for my iPad and began to read through it. Um, there was so much that took place just in the first few chapters of this book and the first few days of basics and you know the listening to the national wake up calls and engaging with such a positive, encouraging group of people, I felt myself begin to, to light again. I felt a light come on in me. Um, there is a place in, in the compound effect um, by Darren Hardy that you'll get to. And he talks about how these mistakes from your past are things that were quote unquote failures or things you've even blamed other people for. And let me tell you, I was, I was doing, I had a pretty big pity party blaming people for the situation that my life was in. And he says, you need to, you need to own it. You need to take responsibility for those things. You need to go back. You need to go back through it and you need to discover your hand and your role in those things. And at first it was really hard because I did not want to own any of that. And I know he was talking about business, but for me, it was so personal and as I began to do those things and write out my goals and began to understand, um, you know, like long-term goals versus short-term goals and how the decisions that I'm making now will change inevitably my future, whether I just sit on my behind and do nothing or whether I get my rear in gear and just make these small little changes every single day. So for me, it was like the decision to, to own the, the mistakes of my past, um, the ones from the spring and all the ones before that and going back and saying, you know what, I, have, I take ownership of that. I was there, I take my role and my part in that and I do it so I can learn from it and move forward so I can go forward as a stronger, more, um, more independent, more confident person with, um, that I'm not afraid to take ownership of that. And, and obviously there was a lot of fear involved um, in me trying to dream again because my dreams had been squashed on. And I just wanna say that, you know, I, I think my original challenge pack was um, $160. And I literally could say at the end of that first month that I had received more out of the $160 that it took for me to get my challenge pack, start regaining my health and my wellness, and then becoming a coach and starting a business, that that $160 had bought me more than, you know, two years at a psychologist and a business school could have ever bought me. It's, it's really, truly amazing. And... I love to talk about it and I love to share it because it reminds me that, 
you know, this is this is where I started and I'm not that far into the journey, but I, I am so excited about what the future holds and I'm really excited about what it holds for you as well. And I want to encourage you from the depths of my heart that you get engaged and plugged into daily, daily development. And, um, and it might not be for you, but for me, one of the things that I can't do without um, something like the compound effect or GoPro or right now I'm, I'm reading hashtag be more by Sandy Krakowski. You know, these are amazing, wonderful, incredible tools and your team can give you a list after list after list of great personal development books, um, old ones, tried and true to new ones coming out. Um, but the one thing for me that um, is, is, is always there every day is, is the Word of God. And I just want to say that, um, you know, if that's something that uh, is new to you, that you give it a try. Um, if it is something that you used to do regularly, picking up the Word and, and diving into Scripture, to, to just do it again and just watch and see this, um, this journey be shaped and molded um, and how parallel it is to what the scriptures say of just encouraging one another, loving one another, accepting our faults and our mistakes. Every day is a brand new day. You know, his mercies are new every morning. So when we didn't get that exercise in or we, you know, had the, you know, chocolate cake and we probably shouldn't have, you know, his mercies are new every morning and we find that in, in the word. So, um, I hope that you will dive in and find your own source of development and encouragement and that as you're trying to, um, each and every day, do those three vital behaviors, that personal development is something that will come easy to you. I, I speak that uh, out there as a blessing, that it would just be easy for you, um, something that you look forward to and that you don't go one single day without because you are designed to be more, um, to live more. And um, as we together get out there and just um, help others on their journey to health and wellness. So be blessed and hope to see you around. Welcome to the team.